Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What are you watching? My soap opera. Oh, yeah, it's 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So what's up? Um, I was wondering if my friend Corinne can come over. Do I know Corinne? No, she just moved moved here just this beginning of this week. Well, I've never heard you mention her. Well, I I wasn't sure if I could if I liked her or not. I mean, I don't tell you about every single kid who moves here. So can she? Honey, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Come on, Mom. If Corinne never comes over, how are you going to get to know her? You do have a point. So can she, Mom, please? She can come over, but before she can hang with you, I want to get to know her too. What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. I want to get to know her. I want to see if she's a good influence on you. Okay, fine. But does this mean she can come over? She can come over, but I still want to talk to her before she can hang out with you. That's the only way I'm going to say yes. Okay, fine. But I think you'll like her in. I don't think asking a question is necessary, but you're the mom. That's right, I am the mom. And I say I want to talk to your friend before I could let you hang out with her. It's either that or nothing. Okay, fine. All right. What time is she coming? She's on her way over. All right. Hey, what are you so happy about? I made a new friend. Oh, that's good. Who is she? Her name's Corinne. Corinne, that's a unique name. I know. Mom said that Corinne could come over. She just wants to talk to Corinne before she can allow me to be friends with her. You know, the way you're wording it, it sounds like, you make it sound like Mom is choosing who you're friends with. Well, basically she is, but she's going to love Corinne. Corinne is the sweetest girl I have ever known. Well, that's great, but aren't you laying it a little too thick? I want to lay it too thick because it's true. Okay, just be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. Okay. Corinne. Hi. Hello, may I help you? Um, I'm Corinne. I'm friends with your daughter. You're Corinne? Yeah. You want to be Melody's friend? Well, yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Well, I have a few questions to ask you. Um, okay. All right, well, how are you doing in school? Actually, I'm a straight-A student. Okay, are you responsible? I'm pretty responsible. Have you ever been in jail? No. Why not? Uh, because I'm not a criminal? <sighs> all right. What do you mean, all right? Why are you asking me all these questions? Don't you trust your daughter's judgment? It's not my daughter I don't trust. You don't trust me? I don't even know you. Go see Melody. But I'm watching you. Um, okay. I don't know about this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till Corinne gets here. Yeah, I'm curious about this. Come in. Hi. Uh, hi. Are you Corinne? Yeah. Hey, Melody. Hey. So how did things go with my mother and you? Okay, I guess. She doesn't seem to trust me, though. How come? I think she saw the blue in my hair, so she was kind of turned off. That's not like Mom. Yeah, I know. You got blue in here? Let me see. Okay. There. Oh, my gosh, that is so cool. Your mom let you do that? Yeah, she lets me do it. But she makes me pay it, pay for it myself. Your mom gives you an allowance? Yeah. How much is your allowance? $10 a week. You get $10 a week?
Melody and I only get five a week. Oh, well, anytime you're short on cash, I could loan you some money. Thanks. But I'm not going to take money from someone younger than me and from a stranger. I appreciate the offer. Um, okay. <laughs> nice sister you got there. She can be nice. You know, I don't know why people don't trust me. Who said we don't trust you? Nobody had to say it. Your mom doesn't like me. I think that's Lane being a little dramatic. Maybe, but it's true. Your mom does not like me, and I don't know why. I'm not a bad person. Nobody said you were. I know nobody said I was. But your mother and your sister practically spelled it out for me. They didn't. They do not like me. Corinne, I really don't think... Melody, don't try to cheer me up. Just don't. Let's just hang out. Um, okay, let's watch Melissa's letter. Okay. Hey, Mom, do you have a second? For you, I have a lifetime full of seconds. What's up? Mom, I think you should forbid Melody for seeing Corinne. Why? What did Corinne do? I just don't have a good feeling about her. She wants to give Melody money. Well, actually, she wants to give me money, but I turned her down. Okay, why is it so bad that she, Corinne wanted to loan you money? She's basically bragging about how much money she has. Look, Cheyenne, I don't really trust Corinne either, but Melody really likes her. So we're going to have to learn to tolerate her. Tolerate? Melody, where's your friend? She's in mine in Cheyenne's room. You don't like Corinne, do you? Honey, it's not that I don't like her. I just don't think it's a good idea for you to hang with her. Why? Because I don't think she's a good influence. I mean, you're going to want to dye your hair like... You don't, you don't like her because of her hair? I can't believe it being that shallow. Honey, I just don't think she would be a good influence. I can't believe you guys. I thought you were better than this. Better than what? This! You don't judge any of my other friends? Well, none of your other friends have blue hair. I can't believe it being that shallow. What do you expect from her? I expect her to have good manners. She does have good manners. She was really nice to Cheyenne, and I'm sure she was nice to you too. But just because Corinne has blue in her hair, you think she's a bad influence? I can't believe you're that shallow. Listen, Melody. No, you listen. I don't care what you think about Corinne. She's my friend. Okay, okay honey. Listen, let's talk about this. No, I have nothing else to say. Melody. Mom. Melody has a point. About what? We are judging Corinne. We may not like her hair, but we should be able to trust Melody's judgment. Corinne really does seem like a nice girl. We can't focus on her hair. I, I guess. I better go talk to Melody and Corinne. You do that. I'll be here. Hey. Hi. You heard me and my family fighting, didn't you? Well, unless there was a good part that I missed. Yeah. I didn't know your your mom and your sister were that shallow. They usually aren't. Why don't they like me? Well, if you heard everything, you know they don't like your hair. Just because I blew in my hair, they think I'm a bad influence. I am one of the most polite people you have ever met. I know. But... <sighs> No offense, but my mom doesn't think so. She thinks you're a bad influence. Yeah, just because of my hair. People always judge me because of how I look. They think that because I have blue in my hair that I'm a horrible person. But I'm not. I know you're not. I know you're not too. Mom? Hi, girls. Hi, Addie. Hey, Mom. Listen... I think I need to talk to you both. I think you've said enough, Mom. 
Melody, hear me out on this. I want to apologize for the way me and Cheyenne were acting. That it wasn't right. Corinne, I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have judged you. Why don't you like me? Honey, it's not a matter of liking you or not. I judged you because of the way you looked. And I shouldn't have done it. No, you shouldn't have. You don't even know Corinne. Well, I want to get to know Corinne. I'd like to have, Corinne, I'd like to have you over for dinner th later this week. I really want to get to know you. I have to start. Yes, I'll make it up to you. Mom, the only way you can make it up to us is if you give Corinne a chance. I'm going to give her a chance. Why else do you think I would invite her to dinner? I want to get to know you better, Corinne. Thanks, that's all I ever wanted. All right, I better start dinner. Corinne, um, why don't you have a talk with your parents and we could set up a date. Okay, sounds great. Mom? Yes? Thanks. You're welcome. I love you. Love you too.